Welcome, listeners, to the Weon Podcast. Today, we're doing a deep dive into something pretty startling, a recent warning about California's Big One earthquake. Yeah, and specifically, some claims about when it might actually happen. Exactly. We've looked at the info you shared, and uh, we want to unpack what the experts are really saying here. Okay, so let's jump in. The U.S. Geological Survey, the USGS, right? They've issued a warning about this major quake. Mm-hmm. The big one for California. But here's the thing that caught my eye. From the sources, they're talking about a time frame, like maybe early next decade. Yeah, that's the surprising part. Mm-hmm. Specifically, um, within the next seven years, potentially. Seven years. Wow. And wasn't there a mention of 2032? There was, yeah. One USGS report apparently flagged 2032 as a well, a possible date for a major event in the Bay Area. Okay, so not a firm prediction, but based on yeah. what exactly? It comes down to the San Andreas Fault, you know, this huge 800-mile fault line. Right. And the history, the pattern seems to be these massive quakes happen uh, roughly every 150 years on certain segments. And the thinking is California's due or overdue. Pretty much. Experts are saying it's considered overdue for something big, like a magnitude 7.8 or even higher. And just for perspective, 7.8 is, that's enormous, right? Oh, absolutely. Think back to uh, 1857, the Fort Tejon quake, 7.9. That ruptured like 350 kilometers. And 1906 in San Francisco, also 7.9. Exactly. Flattened, what, 80% of the city? Terrible tragedy. Hmm. Nearly 3,000 deaths. Huge number homeless. That one ruptured even more, like 477 kilometers. So the potential energy is just immense. Mm -hmm. And that history feeds into the probability estimates. Like the one mentioned, a 72% chance for San Francisco by 2055. Yeah, that's one of the figures floating around. And then there was that recent activity. Oh, right. The seven quakes off Northern California near the fault tip. Yes. On a single morning. It just adds to the, uh, the overall picture of an active system. So if this big one does hit... The potential impact figures are just staggering. They really are. The projections mentioned estimate, what, 1,800 deaths? Yeah, and maybe 50,000 injuries. And the cost. $200 billion in damages. It's hard to even wrap your head around that scale. Yeah. Infrastructure, homes, yeah. businesses, everything. A truly sobering thought. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come. So, thinking about all this, these warnings, the history, the potential costs, it leaves you wondering, doesn't it? What steps, what specific actions do you think would be most effective for people and communities in these areas to really prepare? Something to consider. For sure. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come.